Hey, Facebook Live, just wanted to wait a second there. Hope everybody's doing good and doing well. I appreciate you taking your time. And again, if I don't shout you out, it means I just can't see you or um, I'm paying attention and I can't see your face and see your name. But I always thank you for taking your time to watch this and out of your busy day. And I want to say thank you for watching this on the Super Bowl weekend. You're probably busy watching the Super Bowl if you're a football fan. If not, you're probably doing something else. But thank you for taking your time to watch this. And, of course, we're at Daily Motivation. And today I want to talk about attacking. Attacking, even when the circumstances are not right yet. And I was listening to an audio from the great Napoleon Hill. And he was talk telling me a story about Na Napoleon, the French uh, dictator where he was going to attack a ship and the army general came to him and said, well, Napoleon, the circumstances are not right yet to, to, do, the, to the, do the launch. And he said, circumstances? Hell, man, I make circumstances. Attack, attack, <laughs> attack. And I always love that story because it differentiates the people that really reach success and those who do not is... Most of the time, we always want to wait for things to be perfect. I want to wait until the kids are out of school. Or I want to wait till I get the better resources. Or I want to wait till I save enough money. Or I want to wait till I pay the car down. Or I want to wait till I pay the house off. And some of those strategies are very intelligent, but they're not getting you towards your goal. And so many a times, the, those who attack without thinking, those who do not wait to the resources to be ready, those who do not wait for things, circumstances to be exactly right and go in any way are usually the ones that ends up being successful. Because while everyone's waiting for the circumstances to be right, they are taking action and moving forward towards the dream. Even if you start, you could always start just a little bit. I'm too young. I'm ready for some Sunday richness. <laughs> yes, sir, Greg, yes. Um, and it makes sense because when you attack, you're not waiting for everything to be right. So even if you don't have the right stuff, the resources, do just a little bit. I mean, that's how I always, I, I've been, I'm here right now is from steady doing a little bit. Even when things weren't, first time I did the East Side, circumstances were not right. I didn't have any money. I really didn't have any thing going for myself. I just had a little bit of savings and those savings helped me edit my book, even though the I had to break it into five payments just to edit it because it was so expensive and I didn't really have the money. But I attacked anyway. Even when I didn't know what I was doing, I attacked anyway. Even when I felt like things were going wrong, I attacked anyway. And that's what helped me keep elevating in my own life because I don't wait for circumstances. Like the great Napoleon said, I make circumstances. You are the consciousness of your actions. So once you make actions, you disrupt any of your beliefs and consciousness that are holding you back. So action is the great equalizer of helping you get towards your goal. Even when you don't feel, man, I don't know, Rich, like things aren't just right. Um, I have some stuff going on in my life. See, that's the actual time to attack because it keeps you focused. Which reminds me about, you know, the great Kobe Bryant. I've been talking about him a lot lately since he's passed. And I remember when he had his issue in Colorado. It made him lock in even more in his goals. It made him even stay more focused. So when he was on the court, he took all that energy from the outside world and focused it on the court. Because he was ready to attack. Circumstances were going terrible in his life. But he said, I'm not going to let the outside circumstances dictate my inner goal. I'm going to repeat that. I'm not going to let the outside circumstances dictate my inner goal. And when you can rely on yourself through your inner goal and push yourself by taking action, even a little bit. You know, if some when I want to start being a speaker, I start taking little actions. I just started going to Toastmasters. Before I even signed up, I just started sitting in the audience, hearing other people speak. And I started listening to like Les Brown speeches every day. I just did a little bit. We're not asking you to take a big quantum leap, but if you take a little bit of action, even when things are, don't seem ready, just a little bit of action, it'll help get you to the goal that you want to get to. Like in football, we're in the Super Bowl day, right? 
Inch by inch, everything's a cinch. Inch by inch. By the yard, it's hard. By inch by inch, is a cinch. By the yard, it's hard. By inch by inch, is a cinch. Al Pacino. <laughs> Meaning, if you just take a little bit of action, just bit by bit by bit, things become easier. And you're not ready, f you're not waiting for the right circumstances. You're making the circumstances. Again, like the great Napoleon Hill said, Attack! Attack! <laughs> attack today. Whatever that goal is, whatever you're trying to accomplish, attack it. Attack it by putting a little bit of action each day. And every time you do, one thing you'll do, you'll make yourself feel better. And that activates the attraction even more towards you. There's many things I'm not ready to do, but I attack it anyway. Why? Because those little things get me faster and closer to my goal every time. Greg, I appreciate you watching this and everyone else that took their time to, to watch this thing uh, for daily motivation. If this touched you, please comment, please like, please share, please share this with your friends and family and get into daily motivation. Don't just watch this to say, oh, you know, it's cool, we're just doing some cool stuff. Watch this and listen. I do this stuff in my everyday. This is why it comes so naturally for me to say it because I do it. This is how I live. This is how I live my life. So if you ever see, hey, Rich, I see some good things happening to you. I see some good things happening in your life. I'm telling you how. I'm telling you why. It's not a facade. It's not luck. It's not something that I'm ordained to. I'm telling you how. And how is by taking actions, even when I'm not ready. I appreciate you taking your time. This is Rich Fontaine. Either you agree with me or not agree with me. But either way, I think this was a successful conversation. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate it, brother. Uh, the fountain of richness is at you again. <laughs> Hope this served you well, sir. And namaste.